Jennings put the bomb up. You've been waiting three years for the 2007 Rugby World Cup. Witness 20 nations doing battle for the right to be crowned world champions. And only one man can take you there. That guy and his expert team will bring you all the blow-by-blow -blow action, the stats and the facts. Straight shooting, they tell it how it is. Travel with them to France and be part of the amazing spectacle that is the 2007 Rugby World Cup. The Rugby World Cup. Actually, Lee, if I could just uh, interrupt you there, I just want to do a big shout out to my little nephew, Josh, um, who turned seven today. Good on you, mate. I hope you're having a really good day, even though it's the first day of school. Hope you have a good party. Keep watching the show and uh, all the best, mate. I'll see you later on tonight. Thanks, Jason. Welcome to that, guys. Rugby World Cup special. Joining us is the head of the National Party, the leader of the National Party, and a man many are saying is going to be the next Prime Minister of this country, surely in 2011, when we next have a World Cup. Um, John, welcome to the show. Fantastic. Please, thanks um, much. Thoughts on the weekend? Is it a little sad, wasn't it? Oh, I felt like they'd reached and ripped my heart out, actually. Mm -hmm. um, gutted. Gutted. Matt, um, hi. Yeah, um, yeah, hi. Hi, good, good to be back here. I want to say one word, and that's cohesion. Mm. And I probably mm. won't be saying a hell of a lot in this show, but I will say that word. Mm. Cohesion. My, my, uh, Sid Going was my hero. I might just interrupt there, John. Um, we did a bit of a survey after the, um, you'd be familiar with polls, etc. like that, oh, um, and asked the, the bulk of the population why they thought it went so badly, and this is what some of them said. 12% um, blamed the referee, as you can see from that. 15% um, the jerseys, mm. wearing the second mm. strip. I mean, to me, I, didn't, I think it was irrelevant. 9% mm. um, blamed the rotation policy. I mm. thought it would have been a bit more than that. 20% mm. blamed the Labour government. Really? We'll come back to Surprised that. Surprised that's not high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, well, here we go. Uh, the 16%, the anti smacking bill. Ah, oh, well, it's actually. We're going to go down that one. And uh, Murray Decker copped 25% of the blame. <laughs> really? Um, which isn't so surprising, yeah. but I thought it would have been perhaps, yeah. you know, around yeah. 20. John Lee's actually been asked quite often to stand for politics. Did you know that? Truthfully. Mm. I'm not surprised. Mm. I'm yep. not surprised. What's put me off it, in a way, mm. is. It's very hard nowadays to get into politics without some skeletons coming out of your closet, eventually, from your mm. past. Surely wouldn't it be best to just come right out there with yeah. everything you've ever done? Yeah. Have you been to a strip club, Lee? I have, plenty. Have you? Yeah. That's, a, that's you that, that, mm. that refreshing honesty. Roll the footage. Have. Yeah, and I have. Yeah, no, exactly. I about that. Straight and out. People yeah. respect that. Yep, they did. Mm. They did. Mm. I haven't. You really? Mm. I'm a, you know, a family man, young, young kids. And <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> but Jase, you, you're, you're a stats man. I mean, yeah. you've yeah. got... You're a numbers uh, man. Mm. You're a stats man. Mm. I'm a number cruncher. Yeah. Mm. Mm. There's, no, mm. there's no need for someone like you and your ability to be in those establishments. No. 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 Oh, well, actually, part. I lied. I have been to one. <laughs> so you have. Oh, yeah. And so what? Yeah. yeah. He's a man. Yeah. He has his needs. Yeah. Mm. I was a banker. You're a banker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With a B. <laughs> yeah, if, I could just bring it back, if I could just bring it back to rugby if I could, yeah. um, I just want to demonstrate the, um, with this Rubik's Cube, um, the mm. rotation policy, as you mm. said, you've got a cube mm. that's not done there, you want him to be playing, say, with him and him, and it needs to be adjusted, rotated round. Okay, that's your standard mm, yeah. Rubik's Cube with your colours on the right side. Um, rotation policy, the way I see it, you've got a, imagine that green guy there is your first five. Yep. And that's yeah, your second five there. there. Mm, mm. And imagine that's your centre. You want to bring him in and play with him. Yeah. Yep. It's very hard to do that. As you rotate one player, the others are rotating around as well. Yep. Mm. But those two players, those combinations, will mm. never be together again, if, if you can see from that. Yeah. Um, it's a very scientific way of looking at it. Well, this is how it works. I mean, I'll challenge you to try and get that back to how it was. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a vortex, isn't it? I mean, I could, I'm sure I could. If I, if I could just interrupt there and perhaps talk about um, John's jacket. Um, mm. John is um, wearing our, our second strip. 
mm. the um, the one we wore a couple of weeks back, the the brown the brown sports jacket. Mm. We normally wear that out in the field yep. when we do yep. interviews, but we didn't do any on this series. So. No. John, um, the Labor Party obviously has attacked you over the past and probably in the future about mm. your success, and and they're trying to use that as a oh no oh you're right no, you can't. No, no. Um, to succeed in life, and they're trying to create a sort of them and us mentality. How do you feel about that? I think we want to strive for success and, and do better. Lee, uh, you yeah, like no, I thought you guys carry on. Yeah, no, right, right. yeah let's, have a, let's have a look at the um, points table there. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. There's a new points table there. Mm. Um, again, rather redundant from the weekend, but. Uh, mm. And there's Trish there. Fantastic. Great job, Trish. Good to right see, uh, very, very good to see Argentina actually, and I'm, I'm actually hedging my bets on them, John. I, mm. know, I don't know where you're sitting, yeah. Jess. Yeah. And I'm picking they'll go through and take. Yeah, of course they'll take South South Africa. South Africa. Apparently, the worst that's ever got is a pen throwing. I think one of them threw a pen at the other one. Muldoon could be pretty harsh, couldn't he? Yeah, yeah he verbally yeah. punched pretty mm. hard. Yeah. Earlier in the week, I caught up with um, Wallaby captain, ex Wallaby captain, World Cup winning captain, Mick Farr Jones, to discuss New Zealand and Australia's um, hopes in the semis. So, a big game this weekend, Nick. It is a big game, yeah. A big game indeed, but pity we're not in it, either <laughs> of us. Um, mm. I mean, I, I, yeah. I was tempted not to run that clip yeah. once Australia got knocked out. Yeah. Mm. It seemed kind of irrelevant. Once we got knocked out, it was so irrelevant that it became relevant again. So we've got another clip here that we could probably run. Oh. You've played... 76 tests as a wallaby. Uh, I think it was 63. Okay. From, uh, from my last county. Sure, or, okay, but um, 46 as captain. 36. 36 games as captain, though. Yeah. It's a lot of games, though. I haven't said that. It's, it's a, a couple. Games. It's a lot it's of a games. Few. It's 30, a few. Okay. Yeah. So what does Australia need to do going into this game to win it? Yeah, I've been under the same sort of pressure. Been there, done that. And uh, boys have got to step forward. Is it the forwards, perhaps, that really have to, I suppose it always is, isn't it? They have to go really step up, take some pressure off those, uh, one of those, those new bat combinations. The game's a collective game. It's a fantastic thing about rugby, you know. Um, we all get a jersey, we've all got different body types, we've all got different personalities. Everyone's got to perform, but at the end of the day, if, if the boys up and front as, don't... And um, as you well know, I've also got plenty of fond memories of, of the 15-man game. Um, they used to call me Kangaroo Foot, of course. Um, what, what? Because of the bound, the pace of the step, or the side step? I mean. No, no, I, w I wish I did. I had a kangaroo foot. I lost my arm doing a chook reverse pass, and then fortunately, through the miracles of modern medical science, they managed to attach a, a kangaroo foot onto my arm. And um, that's no good under the, the high ball or anything like that, but... Um, Shit. Nick clearly not happy about being knocked out so early in the no. semis, and as I say, that's mm. kind of dated that footage now, having done it early mm. in the week. 